welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to my self-care night routine usually when i just want to relax take care of myself i just got out of a coffee shop right now and i was in there for like about three hours just straight up editing i feel like my brain is literally just drained i'm gonna go home real quick to change freshen up and then we are gonna go to target i need to get some essentials for our little self-care night i'm not gonna lie my social anxiety is like going crazy right now there is so much people at target it is so freaking hot in here and i got the literal loudest car ever I've always wanted to try this brand of face masks. It looks super cute. I'm gonna be getting this lip mask because I'm always tired of constantly using face masks. So we're gonna try something different. Literally just ran out of my melatonin. So I'm gonna get this one, 10 milligrams. I usually get the five. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm literally sweating in here. Like I don't see anybody else sweating or nothing. It's so hot. I'm getting these dark chocolate covered almonds. I'm looking at my target list right now and I wanted to get true fruit like the frozen little desserts But I feel like since I already got almonds, I feel like that would be like way too much already Honestly, not sure. I'm gonna see if they even have any I was gonna go next door and get a candle from TJ Maxx, but honestly, it's packed as well So I might as well just get one from here get this scented candle it's called cozy night i'm currently in the wendy's drive through right now i'm gonna pick up some baconator fries because baconator fries are specifically from wendy's i thought today was sunday wrong it's not sunday that's the reason why i filmed this video because i thought it was gonna be sunday i was gonna go out do my little vloggy vlog because nobody in my like city is like out on sunday like that's just a thing it's saturday the busiest day of the week and i'm literally so dumb I'm gonna be taking my daily vitamins right now. I use fish oil, B12 energy gummies, B12 energy chewable tablet. I'm gonna be so honest, most mornings I honestly forget to take my vitamins, so I end up taking them like near nighttime. I just wanna give you guys my updates on taking these little B12 uh, chewable like gummies. It's supposed to support your nerve system, energy levels, brain function overall. I have been taking them for about going on two weeks already, and I can honestly say these are like helping me out so much. I used to get headaches really frequently and super, super often. I used to be super like low energy like i'm telling you low energy right after my filming in the morning i would be so tired i wouldn't be able to film for the rest of the day or edit like right now if i would not have been taking these the two weeks i probably would not have uploaded as consistently as i did they are not paying me to say any of this they work so freaking good i can just see my energy levels change throughout the day i feel more productive i don't get headaches i don't feel fatigued or tired as often I'm gonna be trying out this handcrafted cold brew and it's Girl Scout coconut caramel flavor. Also guys, so sorry if the background noise in the video is super loud and noisy. We literally have all of the ACs on in our house because it is so hot. We're gonna try the coffee. I actually really like it. it tastes like kind of identical to the actual girl scout cookie six out of ten i've just been here resting because my cramps are hurting so freaking bad whenever i'm about to start my monthly my back pains they're terrible i don't know i don't feel good right now so i'm gonna get myself a little sweet treat to hopefully you know make me feel better my cramps are hitting extra hard right now so i'm gonna turn on my back massager and just put it on my back I'm gonna leave right now to go to my cousin's graduation dinner. Yesterday was his actual like graduation, so we're gonna be celebrating it today. I just have on um, this like really long maxi dress. I'm wearing my tennis chain that I've literally never worn out in public before. The dinner is gonna be at Stefano's and we are supposed to meet over there in a little bit.
um, pepperoni pizza. Super yummy. I'm about to open up this mini can of Alani. I've been wanting to try these like crazy. In every single one of my videos, I swear I'm gonna be opening up one of these. I decided to get the mini because I'm going to need energy for tonight. It's already 9.47 and I am so tired, guys. I'm already in bed by this time. I'm, you know, halfway asleep. I really want to focus on my wellness routine, which is something that, like, motivates me and keeps me going. A lot of the times, I get comments asking me how I'm so disciplined, motivated, consistent to post YouTube videos, to do self-care, literally to do anything in my life. Like, how am I always on the go? The answer is it's hard. And I'm going to be straight up with you guys. Half of the stuff that I do in my videos and half of the time when I'm posting, when I'm filming it's just something that i enjoy so much but the only reason why i love it is because i'm filming it i'm getting content out of it but at the same time i'm working so even though i'm going to target and i'm shopping or i'm coming here doing a face mask i am still working like it still works sometimes it's kind of hard to balance out okay what is actually self-care and wellness versus what is actually work because a lot of it is just everything all combined so i would say just find like that little balance where you know the difference between your actual life and your work life i don't like to have my work life separate than my real life because my real life is doing vlogs and youtube i feel like if i was not vlogging my days i would just wake up and literally be doing nothing like maybe do my skincare since i'm filming i have the motivation that is strictly how i get like my motivation to post and i'm also like really disciplined i need to chug this so the energy can kick in five minute focus journal i've actually never used this this is going to be my first time using it so this is how the journal looks like it gives you like little prompts and it says relax and breathe it's just a journal where it's giving you guided prompts so you can answer like this one says what attitude or feeling would you like to embody today I've honestly been trying to get into journaling like more often my handwriting kind of sucks and every time I write I feel like my hand is going to literally fall off but besides that it's actually super therapeutic I feel like I'm letting all of my emotions out I feel like it's healthy for me because I don't have any friends my boyfriend that's all I need per do you know what I mean if you're a girl you get it like if you're a girl and you have no friend you're officially my best friend now girl because we're in this together I'm going insane I'm going crazy <gasps> I'm gonna put on the lip mask that I got today at Target. This is supposed to plump and repair your lip. This is so cute. I just took off my lip mask right now and it left my lips like super hydrated. I just wiped off the excess with a towel. I'm gonna put on some hydro gel eye patches. I'm like obsessed with using these on my self-care nights. Doing something self-care related instantly solves all of my problems and just puts me like at a better place mentally, it makes me feel so calm, reassured. exfoliating my lips using this St. Ives watermelon lip scrub. This is supposed to remove all of the dead and dry skin cells from your lips and leaving them soft and smooth. I've actually used this a few times and I love the way that this leaves my lips guys. I feel like this would be super safe enough to use like even every two days. Like usually I like to do this once a week just to kind of like restart my lips. This is how they look when I am exfoliating them. I'm just gonna leave it on for a little bit just so it can really get all of the dirt and everything out of there. I'm gonna use my favorite organizational app to create like to-do list notes and anything important which is Notion. I'm not sponsored by the way but I have not used my Notion in a fat minute so I'm going to organize what my day tomorrow is going to look like just so I can be prepared have an idea of what I need to do I don't really like creating to-do lists in the morning I feel like my brain cannot physically think in the morning until it's been awake for like a few hours so we're just gonna go ahead and create it right now I honestly love notion so much because you can fully customize it to your liking and you can make it look all cute and everything I just 
created a simple to-do list for tomorrow I don't really have that much like tasks to do I just put three most important things that I need to get done since it is the weekend and tomorrow is Sunday I really do not have anything to do I like to take my weekends like pretty chill I just like vlog for the most part I worry about like the work and everything else later on I'm just gonna be here kind of customizing it adding anything else that I need to add to my to-do list but I love this because it's such a good way to keep me accountable Just finished up with my nighttime skincare at nighttime i always have to put on like a really thick lip balm i'm putting on the elf squeeze me lip balms that really work amazing i ran out on my vanilla one and i'm like oh i need to go buy more i also usually switch between these two this one is the tree hut lip butter amazing by the way amazing it's like vaseline but in like a tube this one is a revlon kiss it's a strawberry like stick lip balm it's amazing hands down it's so good it's so pigmented I just put on this lotion over my body. I usually put on a body lotion at night. The one that I'm using today, I don't know if it's Athena or Athena Club. It is their dewy body lotion. I actually got this in PR like literally a year and a half ago. I still have a lot of it and I actually really do like using it, but I do not like using a bunch of it. My usual go-to is obviously this vanilla cashmere one from EOS. It just smells amazing. I got myself a little late night snack. So we have a poppy drink. This is in the flavor raspberry rose and a bunch of people were recommending me to drink it cold. I feel like I'm always trying like these random drinks in my videos. I don't know if it's just me, but I'm obsessed with like drinks, like a low calorie drink, a low sugar drink. I'm all here for it. We got some white cheddar popcorn and a little bit of almond. My period cravings are going wild and I only had like two slices of pizza when we went out to dinner and I wasn't hungry. I was feeling super nauseous, but now I'm like starving. So girl, I don't like... I mean, it's good, but I genuinely just don't see how it's like a soda. It just tastes like sparkling water. But the one that I do like from this brand is like the orange flavor. That one is actually super, super good. But this just tastes like a sparkling water. It kind of tastes like an energy drink without the caffeine and the carbonation. just finished up my snacks and i'm like so tired i can fall asleep right now honestly i can literally fall asleep instantly i'm gonna be doing a little nighttime meditation i just feel like it really calms me down at night i'm the type of person to like be on the verge of falling asleep and then i think of something embarrassing that happened like five years ago and i'm like oh no girl mostly all the meditations that i listen to are like christian based off of like my religion meditation honestly felt so good i love connecting to god with prayer and meditation lately i've been just so blessed by the lord and i'm so grateful i'm just expressing so much gratitude i genuinely feel so happy i don't understand because i feel like a few weeks ago i was just so mentally drained so tired and i just like wanted to give up wait why <laughs> God has taken me out a place of darkness that like I never even thought that I was in. I just want to let you guys know whatever you're going through, whether it's like mentally, physically, like you've got this. Like you really do. You have this. You have to believe in yourself. The last thing I would ever want to do is push my religion onto you guys. No matter what you believe in, who you believe in, I am not here to judge you. I'm here to just love you. Personally, I love talking about God so much and my relationship with him because there was a point in my life where I never even had a relationship with him. I never knew how to talk to him. I still, you know, really don't sometimes. Your callings do not go unheard. Like, he listens to everything. Do not give up, guys. Even if you're going through a super, super hard patch in your life, you're probably going through the hardest time ever, the most draining part of your life right now, but I promise he is doing it for a reason. Life throws us these challenges knowing that we can overcome them. It's us who have to believe in ourselves and be like, you know what? I got this. I was struggling with that for, like, the longest time ever. It's so hard to, like, unveil and say your dreams, especially when it's, like, you're at a period in your life where it's, like, you have to go all or nothing and if you cannot prove to yourself that you are gonna make it out there right now with the chance you were given then you will simply never ever make it the pressure is definitely there but nonetheless i do want to thank you guys for all of your endless support we're gonna make it we're gonna live our dreams and i'm so excited for what the future has to continue to grow a more healthier better and i really hope to continue to grow more of a connection with you guys because i truly do love you so much i am officially about to get in bed already and like start closing my eyes and going to sleep if you guys made it to the end of the video comment down below the sleepy emoji i love you so much i will see you in my next video do not forget to like subscribe and comment bye guys